What's up guys, it's Habsbrook here, and today we're playing the game Clash Royale, and I have no idea what my goal for this video is, but I plan on just um, maybe showing you a couple of games I had before, uh, playing some live games, it's just going to be a let's play, just a let's play, and um, yeah, pretty much, I hope to give you some tips. And I don't know how often I'll be making these videos, however, I do plan on making them more often than I have been making my other videos. So let's get to it. So, although I'm known as Habs Puck on YouTube, on my Clash Royale account, I'm known as iTwinTips. I have uh, my ratio from crown wins to wins isn't that good, but... Um, my lineup is the arrows, the spear goblins. I got the uh, bomber, um, the barbarians, the spear goblin hut. I use this guy, the hog rider, and I just received the P.E.K.K.A. and I'm just trying it out. So I guess this can be a trying out of the P.E.K.K.A. video. Uh, I think I used it once or twice before. And my favorite, the giant skeleton, which I use to basically take out all the troops I can. Um, I'm a part of a clan that is uh let's see what place they are they are in canada they're 97th so not too bad uh, i really like the game and it's going to be launching worldwide soon so that'll be fun to play against a lot more people than they currently have i feel like i get double so um let's get to it let's do a live match i'm feeling this one won't go so well only because for some reason, when I win one, and then uh, I usually lose it after, and that's why I'm kind of stuck at the trophies I'm at right now. So what I do is I usually place the spear goblins once it gets just to about 10, uh, the hut down here, guard the side that he, they're going to attack, and then um, I'm going to regenerate here and try to drop that giant skeleton to blow up all of his things right there. Uh, and now, once again, regenerate. He just dropped down a lot. Of elixir so let's drop down my barbarians over on the right side um, there's no way he can counterattack that with something great um, see just something low like that uh, shooting thing I forget what they're called and then a hog rider to jump in there and um, maybe get a couple hits on the uh, thing because it doesn't get distracted now once again he's dropping the witch so I'm going to put a bomber in there. Skeleton on skeleton is always good. Um, and I think what I should probably do is destroy that witch before it kind of kills everything I have there. Perfect. So once again, we're regenerating. My spear goblin is hut. My goblin hut has kind of been destroyed. I wish I had put that where, um, where this guy was attacking me. There you go. And um, you see how he's uh, attacking on the right side? That's why I put my goblin hut there instead of uh, the left side before. So now I'm putting my goblin huts where he's kind of focused his uh, attack on. And we have, definitely have to drop a giant skeleton here to blow up all what he, the things he has. That'll blow up, and then I can drop in my hog rider to take out the... Uh, building he has here. I might actually get it completely because he used his arrows. Bad mistake by him. Oops, that's for sure. And I shouldn't, I should have already dropped something. As much as I would really want my, my skeleton here, so I'm just going to try to use all the low elixir stuff and then now I can finally use my uh, giant skeleton. So that'll blow up all those. And it's good. I should probably target the left side. I'm going to try a peck out, actually, because that could take out that whole entire tower. And I'm going to guard it with a mini bomber. But if I can just defend off what he has here, uh, there's no way that he's going to get me. Put a goblin hut down to distract the, uh, the hog rider because the hog rider cannot, um, will get distracted by buildings. And my P.E.K.K.A. didn't even get a hit, I don't think. But that's okay. Because I'm definitely going to win this match. So that's how I win one of the matches. Um, it seemed to be evenly matched. We were both level 6. 
uh, he had some good troops there, high level. Hog riders are always good. And I got 28 trophies. So that'll open my crown chest. Awesome. I, you can see I have a lot loading on the bottom, so let's open that crown chest. Um, resource gold. Good. Gems, obviously. Minion horde. I don't really use the minion horde. Um, cannon. Skeleton. So far, not so good. And a goblin hut. Which is awesome, because that's what I use. And I generally will only upgrade the things that I'm using in my deck. Unless they're like five coins to upgrade, because you might as well get the XP from that. So, I definitely use these Goblin Hut. Um, I'm thinking I will upgrade my Goblin Hut, because if you look at the amount of coins... Like if you, sometimes I'll save all my coins to try to get something that's right around in here. Um, that's 2,000 for the day, but if I look at what I'm able to get, there's nothing that really interests me other than the wizard or the balloon. The balloon I don't plan on using, and the wizard I can't even get because I'm not in Arena 5 yet. So I probably will spend my coins to get this upgraded. And my spear goblin upgrade, my level of the spear goblin even went to 6, which is amazing. So that's really good. And I get 25 XP from that. And I think that I might as well spend this extra 100 and... Mm. Actually, no, because I'm at, it was 400 coins to upgrade my Spear Goblin. And then my, sometimes I do use this uh, Barbarian Hut, and that's I'm not going to have enough coins to buy this card and upgrade, so yeah. Alright, let's, um, let's see my, I think this is the highest, yeah, this is the highest trophies I've ever got. Cool. Uh, let's go to a battle that I have done before that um was a good match okay so here i got three um all three towers so let's watch this and let's see what i did how did i get this what mistakes did he make and uh we'll see no we're not gonna watch this on one times because that's just too slow let's go to two times the speed and so he dropped down the barbarians i counterattacked that with some bombers um and to drop down a skeleton because I realized that I don't have enough uh, um, elixir. Uh, I wanted to get his things. And my bomb got all the way through there. And that thing, honestly, that skeleton, if it can get all the way to your, your tower, then you definitely are able to uh, destroy it. And I realized he used a lot of elixir. So once again, I dropped in all my barbarians. This guy's just making a lot of mistakes. They're even getting through to his tower here. Uh, now we're on one times the speed because I just realized I don't have enough. So now I'm like, might as well just defend it off, right? Drop down a P.E.K.K.A. That's okay. Maybe he can get through, hit once, and then I'm pretty sure it'd be destroyed from that. And, um, not worried about the, the, the people on the right too much. Just gonna use some arrows to take them out. They wouldn't have made a lot of damage on my tower anyway. Um... Honestly, there's no way that this guy can beat me. He, no way he can get two. We're evenly matched and he still can't. Uh, so distract him with that and that, and I was able to get my barbarians on the right, so I got the prince. So I'm kind of letting him get that tower on the left because once again, I said that there's no way he's gonna get two towers. And then I was able to just let him attack my tower and I could get him with my uh, hog rider who doesn't get distracted by literally anyone and my barbarians you can see were kind of going up on the right there anyway so that was a solid win for sure um and yeah so that was just uh just a little bit of my gameplay kind of interesting inter excuse me <laughs> kind of um introducing you to my account on clash royale and uh let me know what you think of this video, guys, and uh, drop me a comment below of any suggestions you have. Really fun. Hope to be posting more, and I hope everyone has a good day. Habs Puck out.